Gather round, friends. Why hurry? Oh. Let's all stay a little longer. Welcome back to beautiful Steamboat Springs, Colorado, and Music Fest 2019 from our friends at Dixon Productions. Thanks again to John and his crew for having us up on the mountain. We, of course, say thank you to Colorado High Vodka and Jag Metals LLC. This is Zach Wilkerson, everybody. Hello, Zach. Hello, happy, sir. Happy Music Fest, Steamboat, happy Colorado. All that. How's things? Beautiful. Yeah, are you enjoying your time on the mountain here? Oh, I love it. I is this, love uh, the is this one of your favorite things to do every it is. year? It is. This I've done this six years in a row now, and I hope I never have to stop doing it. Well, I no. love it. No, I love I, it's, it. it's yeah. nice to kind of, much as we all love Texas, you know, and Oklahoma, uh, it's nice to kind of break away and see some things we don't ever see. That's right. You know, because when it's like this in Texas or Oklahoma, we're all huddled up or invading a Walmart trying yeah. to get all the ramen noodles and water because well, we have to go into survival uh, mode. Unless you live in Amarillo and you're just okay with it. Well, then, yeah, it's a little different up yeah, there. Yeah, Amarillo's, they're all right with it. Hey, I got to ask you a question because we were talking earlier this week, and, uh, and then you ended up telling me the story last night. So oh, I'm going yeah. to ask you to recreate that a little bit, but... Uh, you had a uh, you had someone in the audience last night or a couple nights ago that was that was really passionate about finding out what the whole astronaut thing means on yeah. the cover of Dust Bowl Soul and yeah. and then you told me the story last night I'm like that's that's phenomenal so let's 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 tell that story again so well, everybody will understand and nobody will interrupt your show ever again. <laughs> <laughs> well, I uh, I hired this artist I found online and she is a historical comic book artist. She lives in Denmark and she travels all over Europe, Europe and what she'll do is she'll take a historical figure mm -hmm. and draw a comic book for this historical figure and then they sell them at museums all over Europe. Okay. And I found her drawings and her art and I really loved her style and I just got a hold of her asked if she might be interested in drawing for me. Um, I didn't give her a whole lot of ideas, you know, I told yeah. her kind of things I liked and, and, uh, I, I sent her the record, mm -hmm. so she was one of the first to listen to the record, and she uh, ended up drawing me six designs, like I said, and then the one that we have on the record is the one we picked. Right. But uh, she came up with kind of the whole idea, and, uh, you know, I told her that when I was a kid growing up in the Oklahoma Panhandle, you know, there's horny toads everywhere. Mm -hmm. So we used to, you know, used to see those all the time and play with them when we were kids, and, and uh, which you're not supposed to do. Don't play with the horny toad. Leave them alone, apparently. I didn't know that. Yeah, I didn't know I that either. I think frogs in general were, you know, they give you warts. Apparently, that's what my grandmother yeah. would always yeah, say. Yeah, that's but. what they say. But anyway, so, I, you know, I wanted to have a horny toad on there because that was something kind of from my childhood. And that's a lot what, That's a lot of what the record's about is kind of my my origin story, I guess, where mm -hmm. I come from. So she drew the astronaut and threw the horny toad on the back there. And, and then, like I was telling you, the supply lines from the astronaut are actually the, the two lines of the highway. Mm -hmm. and, which is my life, you know. I'm a live musician. We tour full right. time, and so playing shows is how we make everything work. It's interesting, uh, and I think it's great that you took that much care, and she put a lot of her passion mm -hmm. into uh, cover art yeah. for an album that nobody really pays attention to anymore because of the digital music thing. So many times, you know? the only time you see the art is just that little icon in iTunes or something like right. that. Uh, but I don't know I, the art of records. I, I remember listening to records my entire mm -hmm. you know, childhood. So I remember, you know, pulling out that big uh, record sleeve and seeing the art on there, and that always made a huge right. impact on me. You know, I could, I might not remember the name of a record, but I could always remember the art of a sure. record. And so that's something I wanted to kind of. I've always tried to pull that in, into my records, you know. Right. Nobody really wants to see a picture of me standing in the field, so I just, <laughs> I get someone to draw something. The windmill you know? in the background and visions. Well, we got a windmill. Of, we got a well, windmill. Yeah, we, got, we got a field. We got right. a dust storm. So we got things that you'd probably see. But it see. says cartoon drawing, so it's got character. <laughs> it it yeah. does have, it it's does have some character. character. The music business. Uh, yeah. Man, I, I tell you what, uh, that's the great thing about uh, the acceptance and and the wide openness of the of the Texas red dirt music scene yeah. is not particular uh, to one format or to one genre. That's right. And man, the angle that you come in at is absolutely awesome. I Thank love you. it, man. Thank you, man. You know, I I have to say I didn't know a whole lot about the Texas scene mm -hmm. before I started playing my songs. You know, full time. Um, I, I kind of got introduced to it. Uh, actually, I wasn't introduced to it. I had some friends who just dragged me into it and said, this is where you need to be. Right. And I have been 
continually surprised mm -hmm. and humbled by how accepting music fans are of so many different styles and sure. sounds, you know. Um, it's amazing at a festival like this, you know, you've got guys like Wade Bowen, mm -hmm. you've got guys like John Fulbright, and then they let, you know, they let Yay, who's like me, come in and play too. It's just incredible how much breadth yeah. the music has. It's mm -hmm. not the same thing every every show. Everybody's mm -hmm. got definitely got their own style. And right. I'm, I'm very thankful and happy that I get to be I part of it. I, I, that's what I love so much about it is that we don't have to focus on one thing. Yeah. We're just focusing on great music. And we just get to play yeah. what we want to play, and it's it's always surprising and such a such a treat mm -hmm. how well the fans respond, and they support yeah. so many different styles it of music. It really is like one big family because I, I've said forever uh, that the line between the, the stage and the fan Mm -hmm. It's very thin. It's very thin. It's very, very thin, and that could be dangerous. It can, you know. But it, but it's all so far. Knock on our uh, our CR sounds cajon. Yeah, uh, it's all worked out. It has, you know. It has, it has, and I, actually, that's one of my favorite things about our scene mm -hmm. is that it's really commonplace to see the artists, the quote unquote celebrities, just yeah. mingling, just hanging out with the people right. because. We're all still just people. That's exactly right. You know, so we just want to go hang out with people who are like-minded, you know, who mm -hmm. just want to have a good time. And so. none of us, and I don't even need to include myself in any of that, but are major super-duper stars, you know, no. that, I mean, it's just, you know, we're stars in our own, or you're stars in, your, in, in, in this own scene, but, mm -hmm. I mean, it's all like, hey, we're all working on this thing together. We're all, that's the big you thing, know? is everybody's working on it together. Yeah. It is funny, I think, some people who are outside of, you know, the family, mm -hmm. they think that there's all this crazy competition and because we play different types of music, we right. don't like each other. Or, but mm -hmm. we're, every one of us out here is friends. We've got great working relationships with each other sure. because we work with each other mm -hmm. the, the whole year, you know. And it's I, I think it's great. You're Like you said, I think that's a great way to put it is it's a big old family. Yeah, it definitely feels like that. Buddy, good to see you, man. Good to see you, Thank too, Thank you brother. for your time. Thank Zach you. Wilkerson, Dust Bowl Soul, Zach Wilkerson Music. Dot com, y'all check him out. Go see the live show and uh, and buy all the merchandise, oh, all man. the astronaut merchandise, right there at the merch booth at the show every night. Thanks again to Dixon Productions, our friends at Colorado High Vodka, Jag Metals, LLC, our friends at the Finolio Boot Company, and IV Rejuvenation Station out of Lubbock and Amarillo. We'll see you on the mountain. We'll see you down the road.